We will now have a standardized patient with some discussion, problem solving, planning, who's having trouble sleeping. What sorts of things do you want to know about? Certain time during the day. If she's waking up at 3 in the morning every morning. Like maybe if she's having trouble falling asleep versus waking up in the middle of the night. What medications is she taking? Is this something that's infrequent or is there a certain pattern? Is it only weekends or weekdays mm -hmm. or whatnot? Any kind of aspect frequency. of pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll get to take turns interviewing the patient. I'm having a lot of difficulty sleeping and my thoughts always seem to be facing. So when you say you have trouble sleeping, can you describe that a little bit for me? One of my classmates recommended this Vet pill, so I've been taking that and it's been helping with my congestion, but I still have a lot of runny noses. So what is that that you've been taking? Um, I Pseudo something. Pseudo ephedrine. I, uh, I, that could be it. I know I have okay. to sign for it. You mentioned the five hour energy drink when you're studying and everything. Do you do that any other time? Do you drink coffee or anything I like that? I drink coffee daily. How often would you say you eat during the day or? I eat a lot of stuff on the go. You know, I'll have like a bag of potato chips, you know, or like I'll just smoke a cigarette. And then we'll send the patient out and do more planning on our own. Seems really stressed. Mm -hmm. Really jittery. Um, any history of that? Any you know, wedding planning causing problems? If there's any history of migraine or headaches, maybe stress with like just the new living situation and the strain on his new lifestyle. What would be a good plan of action? From a pharmacy standpoint, you know, mm -hmm. if we recommend like, you know, the patch or something like that, or does he feel like he has that? The oral fixation, like he may need a gum or something. I don't know, like Benadryl, something that's going to aid with his allergies and help him get some sleep. But do we want to consider that? And then bring the patient back to counsel on what we think is going on. Um, I had a chance to, to go over, you know, your, your situation. Uh, we're just going to try to talk to you about some recommendations we might have for you to try to help you with this problem you're having. So how, how do you feel about this um, plan that we've come up with today? Um, I'm definitely willing to give it, um, you know, a shot if you all really think that the um, lack of coffee and the more exercising will help me sleep more. So this is an opportunity to see how all your different fields of expertise come together.